Okay. Hi, Cancer. You wouldn't believe I did like this whole reading almost. And I didn't record it, but it was good. So <laughs> let's see what we have here. So I put these two at the top because it's very much an observation of how Mercury retrograde in both Virgo and Libra and then it going direct in Libra season can affect your energy. Um, also how going from the last two months to now, um, more up in the mind, you realize that there are certain things and certain situations that you maybe got yourself involved in and now they're kind of backfiring or ideas that you put out there and now they're kind of feel like they're backing you into a wall. But when you realize you've, you know, made those choices quickly, and Mercury is going into Libra as I'm doing this, it'll be in Libra by the time it comes out, that quickly you're able to shift. That quickly you just get on your feet and you say, I'm just going to ride this out. And it's just things passing through in my mind that are making me feel a certain way. Now, if it becomes overwhelming for you, I think that you'll have um, a surge of strength that comes back from how you felt in Leo season. And you'll remember and you'll be reminded because I think around that time we talked about you kind of being in more isolation. And this month, you may want to do that. However... You may, but there will still, still be certain times and certain moments where you will be exposed to yourself in certain ways. And what you can realize is that this thing that happens when you do too much, even though you have the power in those moments or in those months or in those times, that ultimately it becomes somewhere of like a self-sacrifice and you can end up getting hurt in that way because we're in a mars retrograde i really and many other retrogrades um saturn will go direct on the 23rd of october which we talked about we talked about a little bit and mercury has already gone direct so Pluto also goes direct, oh, has gone direct on the 8th. That's why the other day felt weird. See, I don't pay attention all the time because I like surprises. So by the time I'm doing this, the, yesterday was the Aries full moon. The energy is still potent and strong. When the day before the 10th of October, we had Pluto go direct in Capricorn, which is very much what is going on here, what we talked about before that it could have been on the 8th and through that time, the 9th, the 10th, or even before, a few days after, where you notice this transformative planet takes you from feeling good, enjoying what you're noticing, to this feels like work. Like, enjoying myself feels like work. Why in this season do I feel like this, perhaps? Or that you're feeling so good like you did in Leo season, however you feel like you've obligated yourself to more and you don't know how to back yourself out of perhaps. But what is revealing to you is that those are only constraints held on by this Pluto and Capricorn situation here. You come to surrender and you could be not feeling well or something's going on with your body, even your mind. And on one of those days, which could feel like forever, but also like a moment that has flashed by that you, this isn't going to change the course if you just say no to a few things. That you can't allow all this to come at you and not, again, just take that power back and notice that this is just the end of a moment and a time in your life where you can't be overburdened by things and you can't feel guilty for backing out of something. You just have to accept your feeling and hope that it's for the best for both of you, even if it's not in the moment. And I know that may take you off course in your mind, but again, all of those other ideas or things that have, that you've laid dormant, maybe from the time in Leo season, or the ones that you maybe talked about with the Leo come back up this month, and you're able to decide where you want to flow your energy into next. And by the time the eclipse comes around at the end of the month, you'll be, you might be rather certain about what it is that you've learned and that what is it you want to put forward. You also might have an opportunity come in from a Taurus or from this eclipse. It comes in really quickly and it 
feels like it sweeps you off your feet almost like it feels like the right thing it feels like this feels different than the last situation um that went really slow that ended up maybe costing you more money time and resources than you thought and it's okay you know how to bounce back from those things but you're taking this as another lesson or a situation in your life again very directly clips and these are this is these are opposing signs that this pluto energy is also still going to continuously work through your life until the eclipse that you may feel like squeaky clean by the time that <laughs> Scorpio season comes and I know that sounds nicer than it really is when it, you go through it but by Scorpio season you'll have this whole new view and vision about what your life looks like and realize where you were putting more emphasis in certain areas and where you're needing to put more emphasis in on in different ways in your confidence rather than just what you look like, what you feel like and how that's important to your body and how much you're over maybe over committing or under committing, right? So you're maybe under committing to yourself, over committing to other people. And you realize that this can be a very stimulating month if you allow it to be because you can feel like it's just gone by. But you're brought into the depths of Scorpio by the end of the month about how situations or how your attachment to situations has hurt maybe your money in the past or likewise a person that you thought was going to be perfect for you and all of these things come flooding your mind and you feel like you may not be able to handle it. However, then you realize it's the veil. It's these seasons that bring these smoke and mirrors and reveal to you that with confidence and acceptance in yourself, you can just, you can move forward. And it feels like so much weight lifts off of you, like smoke almost, like things just lift off of you when you just let yourself go through this, like this tunnel moment by the end of the month. So this month is, it's, it seems very up and down. However, it's really um, resounding that you stay in those values. Remember that seven of pentacles before um, I think it came out, but it's just like the seven pentacles. You're working on things that you value, working on what you need to do in order to make yourself feel secure. You are realizing what's way more important to you and just like magic things show up. However, once things show up, certain shit goes down in your mind, in your body, um, needing to release and surrender and know that even if just for a day you feel like you're just caught in your mind, it will subside. You have to trust it. You have to trust that your body knows the way out, that you know the way out and having confidence in that. It's a faith test. And you find that this brings you to maybe moments or extended period of peace where you can now observe what has been and realize what's really coming into fruition for you. And that is this freedom, this capability of choosing how much and when and more time in your life, even if you have to do something or feel something that isn't the best feeling, you know that in this month, in this time, you can come back out of it quickly. But by the end of the month, when you really go through those moments, it could feel like a short trip, even on if you've ever done like mushrooms or anything, it could feel like that or like a really intense meditation. For some of you, for some of you might choose to be guided through something that reveals something to you about how you're not valuing certain time in your life. That even when you're doing something, you're not always present. So it's bringing you to this present place where, oops, this one came first. You need to give yourself what maybe you, someone else couldn't give you and know that someone else may give this to you, but you need to give it to yourself first. And it could just be more attention, more appropriate attention for yourself and what kind of attention you really need and what how that gives you this whole view of what fulfillment means and what it means to feel like you are in control of your life in the ways that are important to you the way that you think how you philo ph philosophize you may want to do that this month 
you may find yourself in those moments and that's kind of how you get through this. You realize it's like a shift in philosophy that we're talking about here. We have been for a few months. And you also may understand that it's a very crucial moment in your life where what has hurt you because of what you find out about yourself has only helped how you are able to present yourself moving forward, how, what you choose to accept from others moving forward. And what that means and what that could look like in terms of your life now and moving forward as you have these moments with other people and with yourself and these transactions with other people and yourself and maybe your career or your business or whatever job you're in and how you are in constant transaction with people, their words, their feelings, because even though this opportunity presents itself, it's a fantastic, beautiful thing. However, there's still something, something for you to learn, something, something for you to learn and grow with. Uh, as you move forward, and it will be quick. It's a very much a Scorpio thing, but it uh, will take up this this time going from Libra to Scorpio season. It will be like a complete bridge for you. So, and if there is a Scorpio in your life, it could be them, that person who was unfortunately the person to show you this, right? It could be this whole Pluto, it could, or it could just be this whole Pluto and Capricorn, very diligent. Like you reach higher, but you have to. You have to be there yourself, within yourself. You have to match that frequency. You have to match that energy. And you're you're doing that because you, you're taking um, a certain attachment out of the picture. And you're allowed to be led by someone else, perhaps. Or you're reminded of what someone, what you know innately within yourself, what is very clear to you with your higher self or however you connect to the divine, that there has been an attachment there and that this whole cloud has been waiting to swoop in and it wasn't until you had your own something of your own perhaps and this very equal relationship could be with a Sagittarius or an Aries that helped show you the what you maybe didn't want to see or feel it could be through those relationships why they may not be the way they once were how or how they've changed notice like where you are in relationship to those people or those thought those different thoughts like being able to be free within yourself and finding that balance of your emotion again and being very um finding that equilibrium and that alignment this month and through the course of Scorpio season will be very apparent for you and it's okay to, you know, be and understand that these feelings can come up, especially in times of when the moon is going through that process of um, want waning. So coming out of the um, full moon phase and the full moon is in Aries this month and it will be right after that full moon that I do this so this is the day after but not by the time this comes out and it's possible that at, at those that moment it also is very revealing for you that you feel safe under the Aries full moon to allow yourself this softness in your mind some ease more ease because whatever you found out weeks before didn't feel like this we're in libra season it doesn't always give it to us when we want it unfortunately i know personally that you don't feel it to until towards maybe scorpio season that then it all comes out and you're okay and you understand and it's i know i said all the things very quickly but this month is going to be a whirlwind for you but it makes Scorpio season that much more fun. <laughs> All right. We'll see you next month.